Now moving on to Venezuela and migrants still crossing the border in large groups, even with the possibility of being expelled. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap joins us live near the U.S.-Mexico border with a look at why the Department of Homeland Security's new enforcement may not make a huge impact locally. Good evening, Shelby. Good evening, Carla. We were able to go with a border patrol here today in this area where migrants continue to cross. We saw migrants crossing the border and then hundreds of them waiting to be processed by border patrol. Now, all of this happening, of course, after that new enforcement, El Paso County Judge Ricardo Samaniego telling us to his knowledge, not many migrants are actually being expelled at this time found out in speaking to uh, Consul Ibarra from, uh, you know, from the Mexican consulate is that they're not going to just at random just take the number of people and send them back. Uh, so they're looking at very low numbers, for example, 50 uh, or 60 that they might be able to accommodate. DHS also announced a legal pathway for 24,000 Venezuelans to come to the U.S., but if they cross illegally, they are ineligible and will be expelled. Now, Congresswoman Veronica Escobar saying she is for more legal pathways, but not for the expulsion of migrants. I believe Title 42 uh, puts migrants at risk um, by rapidly expelling them. We have seen in the past that with Title 42, there's what is called recidivism, which is when migrants are rapidly expelled in one area, they will simply move to another area and try again. Escobar calling on Congress to make legislative changes for more legal pathways. Meanwhile, Border Patrol says the daily average of migrants crossing in El Paso is now over 2,000 and more than 1,000 are from Venezuela. Now, when we went back there with a Border Patrol today, we were able to speak with a migrant from Venezuela who just crossed and we asked him if he knew if he might possibly be expelled. He said he did, and he said what he kept asking himself is how he would possibly go back through what he already went through to get here in the first place. We'll have more on that coming up at KTSM 9 News at 6. Reporting live near the U.S.-Mexico border, Shelby Cap, KTSM 9 News.